But we also need to act now to increase efficiency structured around Seattle Police Department's core function to respond to high volume, high priority 911 calls. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin and Interim Police Chief Adrian Diaz announcing changes within the last hour to the Seattle Police Department. 100 officers will move out of specialty units and into the 911 response team, essentially patrol duty. The idea to have more officers available to respond faster to emergency calls and to spend more time building relationships with the community. When an emergency is happening, people call 911 and they expect a first responder to get there fast. If it's a crime in progress, they especially want a police officer. The city also announcing several efforts at reform, including reducing overtime, uh, increasing efficiencies, as the mayor talked about. The department is working with the uh, police union on all of this, and they're hoping to have all the reassigned officers in place in two weeks. And today is Diaz's first day as interim chief, as Carmen Best's uh, official retirement happens after nearly 30 years on the force. She made that surprise announcement last month after weeks of protests and calls to defund police, saying that the city council in Seattle had disrespected police in general and her specifically. Callie Greenberg has more. Chief Carmen Best's resignation comes one week before council is set to reconvene. And once again, they're going to vote on a package of bills that starts the process of defunding the Seattle Police Department that was vetoed by the mayor just a few weeks ago. Now, in an exclusive interview this morning with King Five, Chief Best said that this past year has presented several challenges, everything from a mass shooting downtown to the Capitol Hill organized protest which Beth said was such a unique situation that her department quite possibly may have been the only ones in the country and maybe even the world to be faced with what they needed to handle. In recent months, her department has been criticized for the use of force by officers involving blast balls and tear gas during the protests following the death of George Floyd. But in our interview this morning, Chief Beth said she, said she believes good will come out of this. Take a listen. I think that the fact that I have decided to step aside and move on has actually helped the department. You know, people are paying attention now. They are laser focused on what is happening in public safety in the city. Uh, they are rising up and trying to make sure that they hold city council accountable for the decisions that they're making. The discussion, as you know, has increased and intensified, and it was really important. And there may be a possibility that we're not going to have to lay off as many people here. So for that reason, I think it was a good thing. Now, we've also reached out to Seattle City Council. They are on recess until September 8th. When they come back, as I mentioned, they will once again need to vote on this package of bills that was vetoed by the mayor. It essentially would be a small cut, about $3 million from the budget, and it would reduce the force by about 100 officers. But as you just heard from Bess there, uh, that might be changing and more open to negotiation. Again, this is her last day after a roughly 30-year career with the department. In Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.